Well, hello everyone. Today I'm going to make my world famous butternut squash soup. While I have a whole carrot diced very small and an onion sauteing in the background here in olive oil, which we'll get to, I have a three pound butternut squash. I decided not to use the second one because this just might be enough for us. So the squash is diced, not terribly small, not too big. Here I got about two tablespoons of olive oil and in it half an onion diced and a carrot and I salted them and they're heating up until they get tender. I don't want the onion to get brown, I just want it to soften a bit. We're going to puree these later when it's all done. Okay. So that's my olive oil and carrots and now let's add the squash to that and coat each piece of squash in the olive oil. So let's mix this around. The heat is still on the pan and we're tossing and turning this over the heat. Now you just have to eyeball this. I'm going to add just enough liquid. It could be vegetable broth, chicken broth, chicken stock, water, a mixture of any of them just to cover all the squash. So again we're going to mix this up. We're going to salt and pepper them or maybe after I add the liquid, either time is good enough. But we'll add this stock. And I've also added some pepper and salt here. And I'm also adding some fresh sage from the garden, about three leaves sliced uh, thin. You don't want too much sage, it's a very strong herb. That's gonna come to a boil, and then we're gonna simmer it until the squash gets soft, about 30 minutes. And after that, we're simply gonna puree it. So let's get all of this incorporated. I got the salt, the pepper all mixed up. You see the carrot laying around there, the onion. And this is gonna come up to a boil. Okay, well that's boiling along. I don't know what's going on with the image here, but really some weird effects there. But this is simmering along nicely. And when it gets soft, we're gonna puree with our hand blender. And I'm just bringing you at the very end. This has been going on. It took about a minute to get all the pieces pureed. And this butternut squash soup is ready to serve. Throw in a little croutons and creme fraiche and you have yourself a wonderful first course. Well, thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed it and tune back later for more great recipes. Bye now. Oh, let's get a taste first to make sure it's seasoned perfectly. Oh, of course it is. All right. You have yourselves a great day. Bye now.